This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com, and today I have with me the RIM BlackBerry Curve 8900 for T-Mobile USA. This is a new version of the Curve series, the 8900 series. Um, updates the 8300 series that we've seen for a while now. Uh, gives it a more bold-like look. You can see metallic finishes like that. A brand new display with better than half VGA resolution, which is really nice. Also runs the BlackBerry OS version 4.6. Take a look at the keyboard, full credit keyboard. You can see it's very much like that on the previous Curve devices in that the keys all have spacing between them, unlike those on the Bold and the 8800 series devices in the past, which are all butted right up against each other. Uh, personally, I find this keyboard even better than the one on the Bold. Uh, the trackball seems a little bit smaller on the 8900 series, though, and it's also black instead of white. I'm not as much a fan of that. It seems a little bit harder to press down. Uh, a little less convenient. Still pr very usable, but um, not as good as the one before. User-definable function keys on the side. You know, they can be set up to activate the camera or voice dialing, things like that. Volume control, a real 3.5mm audio jack. Micro SD for charging and USB connections. Back panel here, even though it has a kind of met metallic look to it, is actually plastic. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it doesn't sit that tightly. It's not really um, that tight fitting. It, it gives the device a little bit of a cheap feel to it, in spite of the fact that it looks quite rich. On the back here, you can see the 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera with the flash. Up top, it's a little hard to see. The marks are pretty faint, but we have the, just like on the Storm and such, there's a lock key here and there's a mute button here built into the top panel, so you just press on to lock and unlock. This runs the version 4.6 of the BlackBerry OS, so it has a slightly different look. It's not quite up to storm specs, but it's definitely on par with the Bold. UMA device, you can see if you look in the upper right hand corner, we're on a Wi-Fi connection right now for voice data messaging and that works with um, T-Mobile's Hotspot at Home service. You know, great if you don't have good GSM coverage in the house. Uh, and that's part of the issue here is also it's just GSM coverage. There's no 3G support in this device. But in any event, we'll be taking a closer look at this device in the future in a full-length video review. But for now, let's a quick look at the RIM BlackBerry Curve 8900 for T-Mobile. It goes on sale February 11th for $199.99 with a new two-year contract and a data agreement.